It ended with a bang. The games they said could never happen finished with a party in the now familiar empty stands. But outside, the streets were packed as people from all over Tokyo gathered, knowing there was a party inside and perhaps hoping they could pick up some of the magic through osmosis. Despite the loud opposition to the Olympics, the residents of the city have by and large been gracious hosts of the games they've only been able to watch on TV. Inside, dual gold medalist Matt Belcher carried the Australian flag and decathlete bronze medalist Ash Maloney carried a friend. There were only 85 Australians left of the 486 who competed, but those still there made their presence felt. Others are making their way home, where teammates are still hard at work during quarantine in Darwin, already thinking about the next games. During the traditional handover to the next Olympic city, Paris, there was a nod to the new sports that was so popular at these games, and another that will make its debut. But it's not over yet for Tokyo. The Paralympic Games will begin in two weeks. There's not just a celebration of sport, but a celebration of disability. And we get so few stages to do that on. It's a public holiday here in Japan, ironically, for the Olympic Games that have now finished, and one that the residents of Tokyo were unable to be a part of. If there's any consolation, it's the hope that in three years' time, the world will be a very different place from the one that forced this most unusual Olympic Games. And a promise, there's always Paris. David Mark, ABC News, Tokyo.